big data is here to stay. The benefits of big data are tremendous, but they're often exaggerated by well-intentioned amateurs and by their service providers. I've been in CRM, in data mining, in analytics since 1997, working with top brands, and I've seen the wonderful results of big data. I've also seen the dismal failure of big data to deliver any measurable or profitable results. Here are seven things that you need to know to maximize the benefits and minimize the pitfalls of big data. Number one, big data is big, but it's often irrelevant. There's a tendency to believe that more is better with big data. On one hand, we're able to collect super granular behavioral data as customers interact with our various brand touch points. On the other hand, a great deal of the data is pure noise. It does not give us predictive insights into consumer buying behaviors. For example, we can get as many false readings from the website browsing patterns of a customer as we can from their in-store browsing. A lot of that data is irrelevant. In fact, there's a 20-80 rule to big data. It says that 20% of the data gives us 80% of the useful insights and learning what data actually matters is critical to achieving profitable results. Number two, simple, powerful questions lead to the most important insights. As long as you have relevant data and focus on the critical issues that affect revenue and the bottom line, you can conduct simple analysis that leads to actionable insights. For example, it does not take a data scientist to measure customer data collection, conversion, retention, recovery, and referral rates by store and even by sales associate daily. Very often a simple query from your point of sale system or your CRM system will generate those critical measures of brand health that are needed to take action and to improve business results daily. Number three. Big data lacks big analysts to match its potential. No amount of data can make up for a lack of true domain expertise. Lots of data may be available, but the analytical field today needs more true domain experts. In analytics, the individual analyst matters the most. Of course, they need to be able to identify patterns and build algorithms. However, the most valuable tool is actual domain knowledge, which when gained from years of practice and experience in relevant industries, can be leveraged to interpret data intelligently and communicate it effectively. Many analysts are skilled at data management and statistics, but they lack the domain expertise, the communication skills, and the ability to influence the business. Number four, predictive algorithms extrapolate from data about the past, yet they don't predict the future with great accuracy. Algorithms are revered because they use demographic and behavioral data to predict future behavior. For example, what next offer should be extended to a customer given his or her previous purchases? However, algorithms merely increase the probability of a purchase or key event, often by a significant but not large percentage. This is because there are too many unknown factors that affect the purchasing decisions of every consumer. Now, one good example is fraud detection, where your credit card provider may suspend your credit at critical buying moments simply because the algorithm failed to understand that you're making a big or an unusual purchase at a particular moment, or that you're on a business trip in Paris today. So yes, algorithms can help, but a great deal of the time they fail miserably. Number five, big data tells you what, but not why. Many unseasoned analysts and clients expect big data to give you answers to critical questions. In fact, big data most often describes what happened but cannot deliver cause and effect insights. 
qualitative or quantitative research must be conducted to peel back the data mining onion and get a more comprehensive understanding of why consumers behave the way they do. Big data will show you what consumers buy, but you need to communicate with them directly to understand what motivates their purchasing decisions. Very often, instead of predicting, a simple dialogue with customers will provide the answers. And this is why trusted, effective sales associates will never be usurped by algorithms. Only stronger customer relationships can deliver the most useful insights you need to know to serve your customers well. Number six, big data insights need to be used at the front lines daily. While big data can generate big, powerful insights, many brands are using it to deliver email, which is highly ineffective, suboptimal, and produces a very low response rate and a very low return on investment. Profitable results from big data are best achieved when the insights and suggested actions are communicated to store or call center associates on a timely basis. These brand representatives who interact with clients daily can use these great insights to execute one-on-one -on -one relationship building. Number seven, for many executives, myth and outdated experience override fact and render big data useless. We've seen instances where big data has delivered a potentially game-changing insight that reflects a unique business opportunity but is overridden by an apprehensive executive who dismisses the results because of instincts or past experience. To derive the full benefits of big data, executives must not only be open-minded and objective while torture testing the data, they must also torture test their own biases and blind spots. The world is changing so rapidly that big data can identify profitable trends before the business is ready to accept them. Executives need to remain flexible and adaptable to the insights of big data in order to profit from it. Big data is very powerful, but big data is best used to build and to reinforce a great customer culture. Big data is most powerful when it is used by frontline associates to build long-term, profitable, and humanistic customer relationships.